That was our message of our wedding. Yeah. Love is love. It's just the wedding. Well, no one has the right to judge anybody for who they love or why they love someone. It's just people getting married, falling in love. Hi, my name is David Tutera. Hi, my name is Joey Toth. And our, and our story, story is about love. It's actually a fun story. So we were introduced via my very close friend and your sister. They decided that they needed to set me up with somebody. A week later, I get a phone call from David. We talked for several weeks on the phone. It was kind of old school. The first date that we had, it was sort of odd because he was coming in from Arizona to come spend time. It was kind of like, what do we do? Do you stay at a hotel? Do you stay at my house? That very first moment that I set eyes on him. It's like a movie. I know it, it sounds was a ridiculous, movie moment. but it That's was. That's what I always laugh about. Yeah. It, because it's coming down the escalator in an airport and there's David waiting for me for yeah. the very first time that we meet in person. We went to the Soho house for our first date, oh, actually. That's right. David had his two hamburgers well done. And we went to Disneyland oh, for our that's second right. date. That's right. I would have failed that test if I had to give all that information. Oh my gosh. I knew that Joey was the one when I met him. When I proposed to Joey, Cielo, which is our daughter, was an equal part of the proposal process. She knew that she had her line that she had to say, which was, will you marry us? We did it. Myself and Cielo did it in Hawaii. On your birthday. It, on my birthday, because yeah. I wanted my birthday to That's become a badass. That's right. That's <laughs> right. We went to the Black Beach. I proposed to him there. He didn't even know what was going on. Cielo was perfect. This was yeah. the most perfect location it's for that amazing. moment. We went to our church, the United Methodist in Hollywood, and. It's a very big part of our lives. And we asked our pastor if we can get married in this church, our church. You know, immediately the answer was yes. Three months later, we found out that the church declined us. The church has never seen a same-sex wedding within the sector of the United Methodist religion. And our pastor said, listen. She fought for us. She fought and said, I'm gonna do this even if I lose my job of 22 years. We got to be the first same-sex couple to walk down the aisle there, and it was amazing. David was bridezilla. We started with this whole concept and idea of a small outdoor wedding. It turned into 200 people plus in a beautiful ballroom. I highly recommend that anyone that is in the business does not plan their own wedding. I've always been someone that wants to make people happy, for people that deserve to, to receive happiness and love. This show, is greater than I can possibly wrap my head around because of the stories of these couples. This is about making now other people happy and making an impact for them to pass it along. And for me, I'm just so proud of David, of when I hear of like what he's done for people, and it's not just the couples, all the different vendors and people in the industry that come up to us when we're out, that he's changed their business, he's changed their life, his inspiration that he's given. And so for me, it just makes him proud to be my husband. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's love. love.